What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And Tony Khan is back at it again, y'all. For whatever reason, Tony Khan always finds himself in Twitter beef that he doesn't even have to be involved in. It's it always comes off very bad when the owner of a wrestling company, a multi-million dollar company, is getting into it with either trolls online or someone else that he may disagree with their point on social media and he just starts going on a twitter rant and it, it just it comes off cringe like for example i can go back and forth sometime with people on twitter because honestly i'm my brand isn't to that point of a multi-billion dollar entity so i'm kind of still below the radar where i can get away with having a, a a trash talking segment i can get away with that type of trash talk with someone on twitter because i don't have so many investors and all these different eyes looking at me but for someone as big as tony khan getting into it with somebody on twitter is not the best route and especially when you have investors and people that are investing or people trying to invest into your company and they see your social media presence it doesn't look good so there's levels to how you should move on social media and tony khan has for whatever reason not grasped that concept he is doing it once again and we got to check this out because it's been blowing up on twitter so i'm going to be posting uh some of the uh the tweets um that you know kind of got the internet spurred up so it all started with this person named the uh raj giri I'm, I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly but he tweets these guys do have history seth rollins defeated jinder mahal in the tournament finals to become the first nxt champion hashtag wwe raw that's crazy i didn't even know that granted i still don't care to see this damn match i'm not gonna lie to you i do not care to see this match jinder mahal and seth rollins but that's what they're going with and that's been the talk of the town right jinder mahal having a a wwe championship match with seth rollins it's fucking insanity um so the usa network their official twitter um responds what was the cage match rating now that was a specific jab at tony khan because you know he's very big on the cage match a rating system and using that as a uh, analytical source to you know pretty much cite his matches and the quality of his matches and stuff like that so the fact that they whoever was typing on that account is a rib at tony khan because he always brings up cage match rating so it's a rib at tony khan and tony did not like that he could have not responded but he decided to respond in the only way Tony Khan knows how to respond, and he does. So he ends up responding to that a tweet, but not replying to it, but tweeting on his own personal account. He uh, proceeds to tweet with a double standard at 730 hook, 28 and one career record on winning streak calls out the champ. A logical challenge sparks online outrage which I believe uh, Hook has called out Samoa Joe, and that may be the, the next ongoing feud for the AEW uh, World uh, Championship, AEW World Heavyweight Championship. I'm guessing, I don't know if I've seen, I haven't really seen too many people talk about it, so I don't know if there is a lot of online outrage for Hook challenging Samoa Joe. Not sure. Y'all let me know if y'all been seeing that, but that's what Tony Khan says. Gender has literally lost every single match he's in for the past year immediately gets a title shot where is the rage hashtag AEW dynamite tomorrow on tbs now part of this tweet i can honestly i can give some give some respect to only because he does have a point once again i'm still one of those people i'm not outraged i just don't think the match should be happening nor does he warrant a title opportunity considering once again the dude has been relegated to a jobber he's always been presented as a jobber and it's kind of weird that this is happening all of a sudden so i don't know so part of this tweet i agree to agree with but the only problem is he shouldn't be the one tweeting it he should not be the one tweeting it 
he can feel that way all he wants, but him tweeting it only provides to the narrative that Tony Khan is a big ass mark with a lot of money. That's it. You're providing to the narrative that people have said about you that you really don't know what you're doing. And any promoter of any major wrestling company should not be interacting with, with people on Twitter in this aspect or tweeting like this. Because once again, all you're doing at the end of the day is one, promoting the other company that you're in competition with. What if someone says, you know what? I got to see what's going on with this Jinder Mahal situation. Like, what the hell? You know, that could be a possible thing. And once again, you're the owner of the company. You got to kind of carry yourself differently. You could have just let that jab go. So it, it doesn't look good. I, I I get what he's saying. He shouldn't have been the one to tweet it. That's all I'm saying. So we're going to go to the next tweet after that. Then he actually decides to respond to the USA Network. A more victory for USA is one win more than their world title challenger. Jinder Mahal has had in the past 364 days because it's been literally a full year since he's won a match. You really put AEW in our place getting Jinder Mahal in a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. So now he's taking jabs at USA. Now he's taking jabs at USA basically saying Jinder Mahal is a joke and he's going to be main eventing one one uh Monday Night Raw you're really helping us out honestly and it's just one of those things where once again you're putting so much emphasis on the other company it does not help you at all this is why it it, it becomes a eye rolling segment when AEW does mentions WWE as much as they do because you have your own boss doing the same thing once again, you're still promoting the oppos opposition's main event match. What are you doing? Why? Why are you doing that? That's just, just chill. Just, sometimes you just got to let some shit slide. Let people talk they trash. Promote your show. Ah, uh, it's, it's just bad. Whoever ran that USA Network account at the time who tweeted that, they knew what they were, they baited him. They baited him, and Tony Khan fell for it, as he usually do. So, Eric Bischoff ends up responding to Tony Khan's uh, original tweet. Uh, I say tweet. <laughs> I don't know what a tweet is. Original tweet, and he says, you know, just types in the clown emoji. Because Tony is looking like a bit of a clown right now. Then, Tony Khan responds with the hashtag AEW Dynamite. And I believe it's a picture that says, get out of, get out of my sight, you miserable has-been. And I'm like, oh my, oh my God, bro. <laughs> it's just, he's, uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Someone needs to take away his phone once again. Then, Jinder Mahal himself, after being name-dropped by the owner of AEW, he even gets into the mix and says, uh, responds to Tony's tweet, who the fuck is Hook? Watch Monday Night Raw on the USA Network, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just... And I'm sure it's going to be more updated uh, after this video goes live, and you know we can discuss that in the comments down below. But all of this really could have been avoided if Tony just not tweet about it. Just let it fucking go, bro. Stop. You should not be the one tweeting this. Though. Why do you think so much of your talent, so many of your talent have a, don't have a problem tweeting at people nonsense? And then you be sitting there, it be making your whole company look bad when you got all these talent and superstars and individuals just going on a, on a Twitter rant that represents your company. And I get it. There are trolls out there, but you are the owner <laughs> of AEW. I don't think you should be worried about trolls trying to, to bait you into saying something and going on a Twitter rant. You just make yourself look just incompetent. I can never, we don't even, a lot of people don't like Vince and what he's done, but I can never see Vince ever doing that. 
I can't even see Triple H doing that. Triple H, he'd be on Twitter regularly. And guess what he's doing? Promoting the product. <laughs> That's what he's doing. You don't ever see Triple H trying to take shots at the opposition. Why? What's the point? It makes no sense. You, you actually bring more attention to the opposition. I, I just don't get it, bro. So I, I can't get mad if the talent starts tweeting the same way about their frustrations with the company and all this other stuff. You can't get mad at them because the owner's doing it. I don't know, man. I want AEW to succeed, but Tony, he needs to take a step back when it comes to the social media stuff. Let someone else run his account. Let someone else promote and stuff like that because this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. He comes off like a smart mark. That's it. That's how he comes off as. And people are making fun of him. The goddamn USA Network is making fun of him. A whole network is making fun of him. And he got baited by a network. Not even a troll. A network baited him to going into a damn Twitter rant. Which thou, if, uh, I think, as of me recording this, Jinder Mahal is trending on Twitter. Let me double check. I, I do believe Jinder Mahal is trending on Twitter. Let me check this right now. I'm doing this right now. Because I do believe, yes, Jinder Mahal is, is trending on Twitter right now. Jinder Mahal. All because of Tony Khan not just letting some shit slide, bro. If you're gonna, if you gotta tweet something out, just make a burner account or something. But honestly, you shouldn't be worried about that. You should be worried about making sure you put on the best possible show. You have multiple shows to worry about. That's what you should be focusing on. And it just makes no sense. Comment down below. And let me know. What's your thoughts on this new Twitter rant from Tony Khan? Let me know how y'all feel about it down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speedy YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.